morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. And hello there. We missed you last week. Yeah, guess where we were? We were in sunny California. Visiting our new granddaughter. And she's absolutely amazing. I'm not kidding you. I mean, I know that a lot of people talk about their grandkids, but this one's outstanding. She is. She outstanding. Is. Good oh, word. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you the Westgate Resort. Yes, it's over on Paradise. You might overlook it because it's not on the Strip, but you shouldn't. No, because, and you probably remember it as the Hilton. Or maybe the International if you're really an old timer. Yeah, if you remember it as the International, I want to talk to you because if you were in there, I want to find out a you know few what? things about it. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> if you if you were ever in the International, I would love to talk to you about that. Anyway, we uh, it's not a resort tour. I mean, it is a resort tour. It's not a uh, staycation. Uh, we did not go into a room. We did not go see the pool. We basically just explored the Westgate to show you what's new and fascinating at that place. Yeah, and a little bit of history as well. All right, so get ready because this adventure starts right now. For today's outing, we are turning south just a block behind the Las Vegas Strip onto Paradise Road. Our destination today, the Westgate. Situated on 64 acres, the Westgate has a prime location. That's the Sahara over there. And behind that, the Strat. And just next door on Paradise and out of camera range is the fabulous Las Vegas Convention Center. The trees and lawns make a fresh and appealing front yard and that marquee is definitely an attention grabber. Look at the entertainment options. We're going to talk more about that a little later on. The Y-shaped design of the Westgate was unique to Las Vegas hotels when it was first built and has been copied many times since by the resorts on the Strip. It maximizes the number of rooms on a piece of land while making sure that they all have a view. There have been seven major renovations over the years. The Westgate took ownership of this resort in 2014, but its history here in Las Vegas goes way further back than that. Back in the mid-1960s, Caesars magnate Kirk Kerkorian purchased this property next to the Las Vegas Convention Center and decided to build a hotel to be named The International. <laughs> Get this, Howard Hughes didn't like the competition and tried, unsuccessfully, to stop the project. When that failed, Hughes bought the unfinished landmark across the street and managed to finish and open it literally one day before Kokorian opened the International. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Las Vegas history is never boring. Well, money troubles caused Kokorian to sell the International to Hilton Hotels in 1971, and the Las Vegas Hilton soon became the most successful hotel in Las Vegas. In fact, during the 1980s, it was the largest hotel in the world. You simply cannot help but notice the monorail track running directly in front of the Westgate. This station on the Las Vegas monorail route is just one stop north of the station out front of the Las Vegas Convention Center. <laughs> Talk about convenient. And the Westgate has its own substantial convention space, 225,000 square feet of it in buildings separate from the casino. All right, let's head inside. Over this way is the hotel drop-off, valet, and main entrance. The hotel has 2,956 rooms and suites on 30 floors. As we step inside, our first impression is a bright, sunny, welcoming space with casual seating on the right and the lobby to our left. Front and center is a welcoming display celebrating Easter and Spring. Our first impulse is to head over here for an Instagram photo, and I'm sure that's exactly the intent. When Westgate purchased the property in 2014, they put $160 million into renovations and timeshare conversions. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. This property is now a timeshare, so you could be an owner. 
but at least 30% of the rooms will always be available as a conventional hotel. Around the corner from the front desk is your convenient access to the monorail. For eight amazing years from 1969 to 1976, Elvis Presley was synonymous with the Las Vegas Hilton. He performed a total of 837 sold-out shows in the Hilton showroom, and this bronze statue in the lobby is a fitting tribute. Now here's a fun fact. In 2016, the Westgate folks petitioned the city to have a short road leading from the strip to the hotel renamed Elvis Presley Boulevard. And guess what? They succeeded. Around the corner from the lobby is the Westgate gift shop. And this is a nice large one. They have drinks and snacks, sundries, clothing, and of course, logo items. Westgate's Casino is a few steps down from the lobby level and, together with the sports book, just about 95,000 square feet in size. Not a large one by Las Vegas standards, but a nice selection of slots and table games. When we are in here, though, it's those incredible crystal light fixtures that always draw our eye. These were here in the Hilton days when we first visited this property, and they are a glittering remnant of classic old Vegas casinos. The international bar on the casino floor is always busy. It's the perfect spot for a beer or cocktail, gaming, and sports viewing 24 hours a day. And the entertainment stage is ideally situated to highlight local talent. The international showroom is as historic as the hotel itself. Today it's home to Barry Manilow's The Hits Come Home Show. Barry has been playing in this 1,600-seat theater on and off since 2005. When the hotel opened in July 1969, Barbara Streisand was the headliner, and later that month, Elvis took over. Between 1972 and 1982, beloved pianist and showman Liberace played the stage 17 weeks a year, and we were privileged to have seen him here exactly 40 years ago in April 1982. Also worth a mention is the 400-seat Westgate Cabaret with rotating acts that include the Bronx Wanderers, the Soul of Motown, and the magic of Jen Kramer. Here's a couple of Westgate perks you ought to know about. There's a convenient shuttle that takes you to and from the Strip all day and downtown in the evenings. Sign up for the World of Westgate Loyalty Program to earn exclusive rates, discounts, and service. And... Don't forget to tag the Westgate in your social media pics. For fans of sports books, this one is a Best of Las Vegas winner and one of the largest in the world. Step into the Superbook at the Westgate Las Vegas and watch all the action on 63 million pixels of screen space. Up front is a bronze statue of Man of War, the greatest racehorse of all time. To the back, beneath this stunning stained glass ceiling, is the Westgate's poker room. The food court in the Superbook offers three favorites in case you get hungry while watching the game. Pizza, tacos, and an express grill. Speaking of food, let's do a quick tour through the dining options here at Westgate. In the lobby is Fortuna, serving Starbucks coffee, grab-and-go items, and a unique frozen yogurt bar. Near the sports book, Fresh Buffet serves breakfast and lunch on weekdays. And on the casino floor, Sid's Cafe offers home-style cooking and large portions from 7 a.m. to 11 or midnight. Heading down Restaurant Row, here is a Japanese culinary paradise. 
Riki Tiki Sushi and Silk Road Asian Bistro are the newer venues. One offering an authentic sushi experience and the other a fusion of three genres of Asian cooking. On the other side, Benihana opened here in 1974 with its teppanyaki grills, gardens, and streams. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Paul and I have celebrated many a special occasion right here at this Benihana location. Across the way is Fresco Italiano, the recipient of a TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence. The menu features Italian favorites made with fresh locally sourced ingredients in a warm and welcoming dining space. This one definitely looks like one we have got to try. Ed Steakhouse is another award-winning restaurant inside the Westgate. The menu offers wet and dry aged prime cuts, wagyu, fixed price options, and a five course tasting as well. During its tenure as the Las Vegas Hilton, this resort was one of the earliest to offer a comprehensive experience all under one roof, and that of course includes shopping. You'll find retail shops along the east and the north wings of the building, plus a few other noteworthy attractions along the way. Stop at the Island Shop for your crocheted mermaid tail. Pick up some Raiders gear, soap products, and stones for your Zen retreat, socks or souvenirs. The Chapel of Crystals promises a wedding or vow renewal that is charming, elegant, and affordable. And you can get everything you need right here on site. Rock and Ink Tattoo Company will create world-class art using your skin as the canvas, and they do piercings as well. The Fun Zone is a kid's wonderland, equipped with all their favorite arcade games in a bright and colorful space. And speaking of fun, take your turn at the piano. Or take a fun pick in this field of sunflowers. Well, I have to say, going through there was a trip down memory lane. I love that place. It really is. It really is a fantastic property. And I'll tell you, one of the greatest things about uh, when it was the, of course, the International and then the Hilton was the entertainment. And we Absolutely. were able to score some pictures that were on the wall of some of the great entertainers that performed there. And we're going to put those up right now as we're talking. Yeah, you're talking about just Wayne and Tom Jones and just the absolute Ali, all kinds of wonderful icons. Liberace played there for, well, I think I said it in the video, I think 17 years or so, yeah. I think he was about 10 years, but 17 weeks a year. Or 17 long weeks runs. a year, yeah. yeah and runs. and we were very privileged to go and see him and get his autograph, and he was just a very, very nice, nice guy. He surely was. We never saw Elvis, unfortunately. He was a little before our time. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> and, and also, Paul's going to tell you right now about a fantastic little adventure that they had in there for just a couple of years. All right, folks, I have to geek out. This <laughs> is a mouse pad from Star Trek The Experience. Raise your hand if anybody ever went to it. It was there between 1998 and 2008 at the Las Vegas Hilton. There was the Space Quest Casino that surrounded it, right. and the experience had the Enterprise D above your head. You had a number of uh, display cases with encounters with the Borg and the Klingons. And they had characters. They had characters yeah. walking around. They had a gift shop. They had Quark's Bar, Let which me was tell you, awesome. Quark's Bar was 
fantastic. The food in there was amazing. We went we went to Quark's many times. Yeah, actually, we did. We years. actually we actually went there just to go to Quark's bar. But very very sad when the Star Trek experience went away. But I wanted to mention it because it was an iconic piece of the Las Vegas Hilton. And I think somebody told us that that, that they just sold that stuff off piece by piece. And they did. Yeah. yeah, it was Paramount originally built it and put it up, and uh, then Cedar Fair purchased it and dismantled everything. But yeah. we were there and we saw it and we experienced it and we did the 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 experience and the encounters and it was awesome it's a great property and i hope you like this video and also if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you're not subscribed what the heck are you waiting for that's right and don't forget hit the to button. Hit, don't forget to hit that notification button all right is there anything else you want to tell these nice people paula I, or how do, would i say your name in klingon oh let's not even start oh, okay. with that <laughs> ask <laughs> Alexa, she knows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, did you know that Alexa speaks, speaks Klingon? Yeah, she speaks Klingon now. Next week, join us. We are going to show <laughs> you some of our California Adventure Week. We captured some really fun spots, and we can't wait to show them to you. All right. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, bye, bye, everybody. Thank you.